this month, the question is, what are the greatest lessons learned and the mistakes we may have made when we've started our practice? And thinking back, this is a really interesting and triggering question because it sparks up many thoughts of the mistakes that I've made as a continued journey. And I see the practice that I've been in as a journey because you live, you learn, you adapt, you adopt, you change, you move on and you think about growth. So thinking back to the time that I started, probably the greatest error or mistake I made was acting in, in, in haste. And instead of spending some time and thinking through my protocols and practice, what I did for convenience sake is Google client form, downloaded a made up form and gave that to my clients. I didn't bother to read it. It looked good. It had all the clauses I thought I would, would um, need. And I used that as a practice form, just added my logo to it. And clients then started asking me questions about what does this mean? What, how would you like me to respond to this? And embarrassment was probably written right across my face because some of those questions were not relevant. They were from different cultures, countries, and I hadn't actually thought through why I'm actually ask, asking this. So the lesson that I've learned is don't act in haste. Don't act for convenience sake. Think about clinical care, critical care, careful planning, and make sure the documentation you use is relevant for the purpose of use. So if you spend time, invest in that initial time, thinking about what's going to be useful, what questions are going to be useful to enable me to deliver the best practice that I can, and develop a client form, a questionnaire that is relevant to your scope of practice, that is going to be far more of an asset than trying to search online, download a form that has been used by other groups that may not have bearing on your scope of practice. So be careful, think from a critical point of view and take time. The other lesson that I've learned is my fees and what I charged. At the start, I was embarrassed to ask for money. As you're starting out, you don't know where to place yourself on the pricing. So I would work for an hour and the client would then ask me what I owe you. And I would say 10 quid. Not okay. It's really important to be clear at the start to give that client a sense of understanding of what your service costs you. And you need to be careful in terms of what you factor into that, your education, your training, qualifications, premises use, and be smart about your pricing. And what I have learned is to actually itemize what I've done to create that pricing and to be clear about what that contact time includes. And over the years, clients have appreciated that honest and open approach. So the advice that I would give is that when you're starting out, learn from, from the mistakes you make. Um, be careful, speak to others, network, create a community of work. And in that way, you'll be able to discuss some of the issues that you face. You're not alone. And that's the important thing. A lot of people, when they start off, the biggest mistake they make is thinking that they're the first person to have any to have ever journeyed this professional pra practice route. It's really about creating that space, thinking about what it is you are aiming to achieve and how best can you achieve that. So I will end with a little story, anecdote that I've learned. And a colleague of mine has always told me these parting words. He says, once I thought I was wrong, but I was mistaken. And that's the question of, do we make a mistake? Are we making it on purpose? Or are we acting in the best care interest of those who seek our care? So I wish you all the best of luck. Mistakes are not the end of the world. They are very good learning curve and very good signposting on this journey. And the key part of this is that we are all on a journey to achieve an end goal.
don't lose track of the journey. The journey is the process to enable a better product. Best of luck with your practice.